Hello, this is a tutorial on how to make a uh, virtual keys in Game Maker Professional Edition. Uh, will it work in all editions of, of Game Maker? I don't know. Uh, uh, what I have is a professional one. Well, I started here uh, by making a player sprite right here. Then uh, I also made a sprite for the for the air uh, for the actual virtual key that we're gonna use I'm um, gonna teach you how to use it later then the, the object player and uh, made a regular room regular room uh, is 800 by 480 I also created this object over here which I am going which is gonna be my the controller for the virtual keys it doesn't have to have a sprite, or it, it, it only it, it can be it has to be visible, so you so you can see it when you when you put it in your room. Um, then uh, right after you may, after you create it, come to the room and and place it place it in your room. Don't forget to place it, otherwise it will not work. And I am using uh, another object so I uh, so I have better control uh, in my game of where the keys are created or deleted or shown or or whatever. Uh, let's let's go to it. Now we're going to create an event. And, uh, event create. We we'll put we'll make this code. Uh, For testing purposes, when you when you want to start for testing purposes, write it just like the like this. We're going to put the virtual key in a variable. It can be in this left can be anything anything that you want. So you know, for example, this is going to be called control the player for the left. So I put left. Then virtual key add the first number is going to be. Uh, the position on it's all in pixels, and where it's going to be located in an X. And X is from left to right, so zero. It's gonna be when I run the program, it's gonna be touching. It's gonna be touching the left side. Then 250. That's the Y position. It's from top to bottom. That means it's gonna be 200 pixels from the top of the screen down. So it's gonna be touching the, sc the screen left and 250 down so it's gonna be let's say this is gonna be my game it's gonna be about here or so it's 250 pixels the third one uh, the third value here is how wide do you want it to be on on the X position I mean, that's gonna be it's gonna be 50 pixels wide from this position from zero the computer is gonna go uh, an X here and, and zero, then and Y in 250, and from here it's gonna from here it's gonna start uh, counting 50 pixels, which is this value. So it's gonna be 50 pixels uh, on the wide and 50 pixels down. Uh, the width, the width and the height. Th that's what these values are. If you if you see down here, it'll tell you. Sorry. Uh, it will tell you X Y W for width H for height and the key code the key code uh, I want I want my character to move left when I push the letter A so we type ORD to parentheses just like this the letter A doesn't have to be A it can be any key on the keyboard it can be if you got if it's gonna be control for the for the numbers it can be number four for left on the numpad can be four for right six up eight two down or whatever you want but this one's gonna be left and I want it to be letter A if, if you're going to control it with the um, mouse keys I mean with the cursor keys with the left one you can put you can you can write BK left 
So move to the left with the uh, cursor key pointing to the left. Then we're going to show, just for purpose testing, uh, for testing purposes, sorry. Uh, we're going to we're going to show it we're gonna show it so we type virtual key show left and what is this one is this variable over here left so we're telling the computer show this virtual key I added the key computer doesn't know what to do when you put virtual key add it's, go it's going to do it it's going to assign it to the letter A but it doesn't know what you wanted to do with it so we're going to tell it to show it when we come down here uh, I'm gonna change this just for a little bit. Don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, so we came here and create. We created it. Now we're telling it to show it. And since you already guys put this and uh, this virtual key controller in in the room, it is going to show. Uh, it should be. Sorry. Now the computer created it. Created it. It's gonna show it. Uh, it's gonna show it there, but it doesn't know what to do with it. What it's attached to. So if you, if we wanted to to move certain thing or or the player or whatever we want that key to do, we have to do. Let's, in this case, we're gonna go to the player and we create an event. Come over here, key uh, keyboard letter A. If you want it to be with numbers, or well, we'll with digits like number four, or if you want it to be left key for the cursor, we put uh, left. But in my case, we want it to be the letter A, and we put x minus equal 4 that's gonna move the 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 player or the character or whatever you wanted to to do that virtual key uh, 4 pixels to the left um, I'll put ok um, and we'll see if it shows and there it is. This is the virtual key created. And if we push the letter A, moves it. But uh, I've heard other people also asking, "Oh well, but I don't want this this little white, cute little thing to be. I wanted to to have a sprite." Well. Uh, game maker doesn't doesn't know um, what is it that you want to put there. But we created this one, uh, arrow controller, and it's just a simple just a simple left arrow looking thing over here. I just take this one and I went here and here and I filled it with a magic bucket over here. That's it. And to to assign it over here, we have to draw it on screen. And we do that by going first. We're going into the sorry, we're going into the virtual keys. We go uh, create an event. Draw the UI. We. put this one as a comment so it's not gonna show it or, or we can erase that line or I just I just put it like a comment in case I want to test more testing later on in case I have any problems or something and uh, but you can erase it if you want so it, w it will not show it anymore but it is there it is created on the it will be created on the screen so now we come on draw GUI and type this draw sprite the name of the, the sprite the, in this case our uh, SPR arrow controller 
uh, 0, the next value is, will be 0, that's the sub-image, if, if you have more sub-images, and the, how many, for example, this one, it's just 1, and it's 0, right, right there is the number. In case you have more to one to the right, and left, up, down, or, or whatever you have, you can this is what you would assign it. I'm assigning it as zero. And and you have to put it exactly on the same spot where you where you created a virtual key. I created a virtual key in, in zero to fifty. Now we get out. Okay, and we test it again. And there it is. If you if you don't delete or uh, delete where it says show virtual virtual key show, it will only show the square over here. Even though you are, you you are drawing this this the the sprite over here, it will still show the the, the square. But since uh, we put it as a comment, it, it, the computer is not going to see it, and and it's just going to come here in the in the it's going to sorry I'm a little lost here, and then draw G, UI and draw it on screen so, I'm going to test it you see it there, we push the letter A. Still does the same because the virtual key is right created right under it. Um, this is the way I do it. <laughs> now we are going to we're going to test it on my uh, Kindle Android. Be right back. Okay, so now I'm on the computer. We're going to switch here to Android and then we're going to test uh, this is successful so it's about to do it and here we go there's the player Oops, sorry Come over here, and is the virtual key? As you can see, it works. No lag. Okay, this is the tutorial. Have fun. Bye.